<laughs> okay, hey guys, uh, my name is Megan Bolton. I am 17 years old, uh, which means I'm currently still at school. Unfortunately, I'm in year 12 doing my A levels. Uh, but anyway, um, you don't even understand how many times I've like retaken this uh, intro and right now I have no idea where I'm looking because I've got a light shining in my eyes. Like, Basically, I've taken this intro about four times now because I can't do it. I don't, I can't do it. Anyway, for the people that are subscribed to my channel now, you probably would have come from my TikTok or Instagram. So thank you so much for subscribing, even though I haven't got any content. You are damn right loyal, innit boys? You are my number ones, innit? You are fam, family. What is this? But yeah, if you know about my YouTube channel, you've probably come from my TikTok or Instagram. So I decided the first vid I'm gonna do, just in case there's, you know, like three subscribers that aren't from my Instagram or TikTok. Um, I just wanted to um, do like an introduction video because I feel like that's really important, especially when someone's new to YouTube, you have no idea who they are. You know, you may follow me on TikTok and have no idea who I am because my whole life is an act. No, I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking. Bye. I'm not. Okay, stop! Right, this is the probably the number one thing you need to know about me, is I am proper weird. So weird. I'm in my natural habitat in acting, honestly. For my first video, I wanted to do a and a just so everyone, even if you're from my TikTok or Insta, you can get to know me in more detail. <laughs> Okay. Let's jump straight into the video. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Uh, so, first question is, sorry, I'm reading it off my laptop. First question is, when did you start TikTok and how did you get into it? So I started TikTok about eight months ago. Um, started it like around my birthday, September. I started TikTok out as a joke because you know everyone does well some people may not but I started out as a joke because you know I'm in a school environment and you get bullied right you get bullied if you have TikTok and take it seriously so I started doing them like I said as a joke because I didn't think my account was going to get successful because the likelihood was it wasn't and then I started doing if anyone knows this country this country videos lip syncing the voice and stuff like that because I absolutely love this country it's insane it's so funny and because I love naturalistic acting sorry I'm so nervous right now Bruh. so I started to do like a lot of sketches doing this country video. It took a really, really long time, but the outcome was always quite pleasing for me, just in terms of like watching it back and being satisfied that the lip sync is like on point. Well, some of them are, some of them are. Yeah, it would honestly, sketches like that would take 40 minutes to an hour to get the lip sync exactly right and to try and get into the character. But yeah, I started doing this country sketches and then that's how my TikTok kind of started to like blow up a bit, like I think, I went from 3,000 to like 30,000 during the December period. So for me, that was like a massive kind of wake up call that maybe, you know what, people like this country, people like these sketches, they'll carry on. But then I found that it was quite time consuming. So I decided to switch it up, back it up. Is it fair enough? Is it fast or fa fair enough? Next question is, who are your favorite TikTokers? Enemy opinion. I'm gonna hiccup now. Okay, no more. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Ah! Lol. My favorite TikTokers are Levi. Pretty sure it's Levi Murphy. I can't remember what his username is. Levi is the best. He is so funny. <laughs> I also love Eden. Eden's been there for me literally since day one on TikTok. Like, I think we started around the same time, but she's an absolute legend. I'll leave their usernames in the description. Okay, so the next question is, would you call yourself an influencer? Do you know what? I don't even know the definition of influencer because I feel like people just go, I'm an influencer. Hey, yeah, I'm an influencer now because I've got some paying people. I don't count myself as an influencer in my opinion. Um, you know, my family would say different and maybe friends would say different, but I, I don't. Okay, so the next question is, why aren't I verified? Sorry, I just spat. Sorry if that hit you guys. So my next question is, what inspired you to do different types of people? I love this question because, you know, 
you know, it's what I've been asking myself. No, I'm joking. Because I feel like at school, I'm not a judgmental person, but I pick up on the kind of little things and the big things that people show. Like how people present themselves to me is how I kind of take them. Not take them. Whoa. So I've kind of got the idea of different types of people from the stereotypes, but also I kind of, as a person, play, pay close attention to detail of people. Literally just in school, friendship groups, literally anywhere, walking in the street. I've kind of got the ideas from like your everyday situation. I'm quite like a cringe-worthy person, like I cringe at everything. So literally the smallest thing like my idea for different types of people collecting an award in assembly one of them was like um the person who purposely swishes their hair is like when they walk up to get an award see that's something that someone used to do when i was in year six and i picked up on it and i'm pretty sure other people did and it's those kind of things i remember and then like just in class things like really annoy me and like i just said things really cringe me out what people do so if you've got that kind of person that's like miss Miss, is there any more homework to do? That really annoys me. Why would you ask for more homework? Why would you ask for homework in the first place? Like, right, so the next question is, how do you, right, this is another thing, just saying, I cannot read, okay? I am honestly so dyslexic. I am so dyslexic. In exams, I have 50% extra time. And then on top of that, a reader who like reads all the questions to me. Okay, and when I don't have a reader, so for things like last year in GCSE for English, um, I received 100% extra time because, yeah, I can't read. Okay, so just bear with me. <laughs> so next question is, how do you feel being popular on social media and are you the same person as before fame? I am not famous. I don't feel like I am and I really don't portray that I am and I don't act any different at all especially like during covid like you know the only people you've been surrounded by is your family so you're not going to act like all big headed around them being like oh i'm famous now please can we have a mackies tonight because we can't get mackies which is really sad another question is have you been recognized in public uh yes i have i was in peterborough once and i was literally at my but anyway i was in peterborough once and i got recognized by this group and they went oi are you TikToker? And I was like, yeah. But I was so awkward, I just walked away and I felt really bad. Um, I've also been approached when I was in Lincoln as well. And these two lovely girls, they were so sweet. They were like, keep up what you're doing with this country. But yeah. Okay, so my next question is, how do you deal with hate? Right, this is actually um, a response that I got quite a lot to from my video where I posted a TikTok of a girl that had messaged me on instagram um and basically disclaimer the girl actually messaged me back going oh i was just gonna see if you replied i literally give hate comments to so many people Bruh. and they never reply you're the first i can't believe it i was like sure thing mate sure thing she was like you're being rude and i was like yes i am yes i am being rude. anyway first things first i don't actually receive any hate like, I'm not saying that to be cocky, but I genuinely haven't received a single hate comment. As in, I haven't received a single hate message on Instagram or any other social media platform. Everyone's gonna come for me now. And I'm so grateful for that, so grateful, because I know some people really struggle with handling hate. So this is how I handled it. This is how I handled that hate comment. And this is how I handle people in general. People at school, if someone's doing something I don't like, I'll approach them, say it to their face instead of doing it behind their back. I find that's the best way. I just don't care what people think. That's that's the main thing that's gonna come out of what I'm saying about the hate is I honestly do not care what people think about me. And I think that's just because of like acting. And I think, I've grown up having that kind of mindset because I've acted for quite a while now and I feel like if you want to be an actor, if you're going to act, you've got to do the weird like facial expressions, you've got to put yourself out there, you have to be proper weird and not care, otherwise if you kind of start caring that's going to detriment how you act, how you then talk to people and it just then piles up, so honestly number one thing about if you're receiving hay or if someone is giving you at school that you don't like you just gotta not care what people think what inspired you to get into acting right 
Okay, um, so I'm just gonna give a little acting story just because um, there's quite a few questions about why. Sorry, I keep moving. I'm sitting on my foot and it really hurts. So basically, here is my story. So when I was in year three, I did this poetry competition and I came second and I was so proud. The year after that, I came first. So I was like, what? It was literally the smallest thing, like learning a script, like for poetry. It was called Cat Sleep Anywhere, I'm pretty sure. So when I went to my new school in year five, I joined a club called Speech and Drama, which is basically a club where you learn scripts and you work towards Lambda exams at the end of the year or whenever you're ready to do the exam. So I started doing them. I really hated it at first, not gonna lie. It proper, really, I really did not like it at all, I tell you now, because I hated learning scripts. But then throughout the years of doing it, um, I received distinctions on every exam. I did. And then last year in, Last year in... I can't remember the year last year. Oh my. And then in my grade six exam, me and my partner, someone called Chloe, um, we got 100%. So that was the kind of wake up point for me to kind of think, do you know what? Maybe I should be taking acting a bit more seriously. Cause I did school plays and stuff like that, but I'd never really gained the confidence to actually take it seriously. So then I auditioned for the National Youth Theatre. But yeah, I auditioned for the National Youth Theatre uh, and this was like a massive kind of like a massive step. Like I did not think I was going to get in, zero chance. But yeah, literally I went for the audition and it was insane. Loved it so much. And that was the first time I proper felt that I was surrounded by people as passionate about drama as me, which was crazy. Like surrounded like, there was a bunch of weirdos like me. In there. And I was like, wait, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I came away from the audition completely thinking, do you know what, I'm not going to get in, I'll definitely try again next year. And then about a month later, I received a email saying that I got in and I was like, what? what? I had the summer course and that was insane. I had that in London. That was probably the biggest wake up call for me because I was surrounded by, like I just said, a bunch of weirdos like me who shared the same passion as me. And that for me was a massive wake up call saying this is the kind of industry I want to go into and want to be in. But then I was also surrounded by so many people that had like agents, people have been on Netflix, people have been on CBC. And I was like, what? Well, I've done it in speech and drama exams. Uh, literally, that was the only qualification I had against the people that were doing stuff like that. I was like, okay, do you know what? I need to get an agent. So when I came out of the um, NYT two weeks, I asked my mum and tried to sort out an agent. And I did, I'm now with Acting Kids. And then I've had a few castings with that. I actually got one of the jobs as a Kim Kardashian looking like, I don't know how that works, but you know, okay. The next question is, have I applied for any TV drama? Okay, uh, answer to that is I haven't specifically applied, but my agent has obviously got me some castings for it. And then I recently got cold contacted by a casting director about doing some self tapes for a new Netflix series, which was insane. But Ooh, so the next question is, Love with no heartbreaks or no love at all, love with heartbreaks. I tell you now, I have had quite a lot of boyfriends and I cherish every single one of them. Okay, not every single one. Next question is, do you want kids? If so, what names? I do want kids, I think. I want to call my children Zacharias, but Zach for short, okay. But Zacharias, obviously spelt with a C-H in the name, but the name Zach spelt with a K. That's how I want it to work. And that is because I have such a legendary teacher called Mr. Zacharias. I kid you not, this is the reason I'm calling my kids uh, Zach. I seriously hope he doesn't watch this, but yeah, you know, we're all living on the edge. And then the other name I want to call my child, uh, if it was a girl, I want to call it Melody. And someone said, what is your most used emoji? I'll do an impression. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one is, um, how tall are you? I am five foot nine, but apparently I'm five foot seven according to the doctors, but I'm gonna say I'm five foot nine because I am five foot nine, okay? The next question is, how many siblings do you have? I have does. Tres, okay. I have a brother called Luke, um, who's so annoying, obviously younger. Bruh. I have a sister called Charlotte. It's so confusing, but basically we're in the same year. She's a year younger. We're 11 months apart, so we're Irish twins. That's how it works, girl. I get on with her well because we're in the same year. So another question is, have you got a middle name? Yes, my middle name is Hannah, which is why all of my usernames have an H, where it's Megan H. Bolton. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> that is a funny question because I don't have any free time. Someone said, how old am I? I am 17 years old. 
I act like I'm five, but you know, that's how, that's, that's the way the world works. Bruh. Okay, so someone asked, what is my favorite skincare product? This is gonna sound weird, but it's after sun. Okay, I use after sun literally as my moisturizer for my face. Okay, last question is, what did you do in your GCSEs and how did you do? So, <laughs> GCSEs, did double science because I'm stupid, okay? I did English, maths, Spanish, Spanish. Do you know what, Spanish was the best lesson because I had nothing in Spanish at all, zero revision, and I got a four. I did foundation paper. <laughs> the highest you could get in the foundation was a five and I got a four, so I basically got an A. I did really well in my English. I got like um, A star and an A, and I was predicted a baby, so you know, a baby. <laughs> predicted a baby, I was predicted a B and a B. I did <clears throat> drama and geography. Geography, I got an eight. Drama, I got a nine. And then I also did philosophy and ethics, which was so hard, and I got a six, which I was very proud of because I was predicted like a three. And I got so many calls home being like, your daughter is doing absolute crap. So, you know, can you sort her out, please? Ah. But yeah, those were some of the questions. I didn't get around to doing all of the questions because there was honestly so many. This is my first YouTube video, so it's probably gonna be rubbish, but you know, it's all right. Comment below what kind of YouTube videos you want because I'm gonna do what you guys want. You guys are gonna control my life, okay? But yeah, the main thing you should take from that is I am weird, proper weird, and I don't care what people think about me, all right? Um, I had quite a few suggestions for video ideas, um, so a lot of them were makeup ideas. I am not a makeup artist, I'm gonna tell you that now. I am not a makeup artist, but I'll do maybe some videos on how I like to do my makeup. I had some suge suggestions. I had some suggestions saying maybe I should do longer versions of my TikTok, so sketches of different types of people doing like a longer version, uh, which is pretty cool, I might do that. A lot, a lot of people wanted vlogs of me in my weird house. If I do a vlog, this is just what you're gonna see. Hi guys. <laughs> because I, I just come out with weird noises, literally. I'll be sitting down having lunch and I'll go. <laughs> okay, so, you know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> But I am so nervous at the same time, so please be nice. But yeah, please click that subscribe button um, and also follow my social medias below, okay? I love you all so much.